University of Missouri Extension economist Ron Plain is our marketing analyst this week. About three-fifths of the country's states have recorded a positive test for the porcine epidemic diarrhea virus since April 2013. But the latest number of new cases in the U.S. was the lowest since January. When Ron joined us Thursday morning, we started by asking for his latest thoughts on the PED virus. It's behaving so far pretty much as you'd expect. It's a virus. It's much more of a problem during the winter months. It looks like uh, the number of new cases declining as the weather's warmed up. We expect it to, to stay fairly low this summer. What about slaughter weights? Uh, I was reading a Reuters article which you were uh, quoted in, and one of the analysts from Chicago was talking about how big these pigs are, and he said they're elephants. Uh, what's behind that? Uh, well, what's behind that is uh, lower corn costs, uh, record high hog prices, and not that many hogs out there. It frees up uh, space in the barns, and so we can keep them around longer. But yes, uh, uh, in March and April, we had ten. Uh, pardon me, we had six consecutive weeks with uh, record weights. Uh, uh, we, uh, prior to uh, last November, we'd never been above 280 pounds. Since November, we've never been below 280 pounds for live weights in Iowa, Minnesota. One of the uh, issues you brought up in that same article was the problem that processors might have because they're not necessarily equipped to handle pigs that big. Can you, pun intended, expand on that a little bit? Well, yes, the reality is that uh, the, the settings of the equipment in slaughter plants are designed for hogs within a certain weight range. And for a lot of plants, uh, uh, they're having to discount some of the heavier hogs because it just doesn't fit the, the size of the equipment and it's, it gives extra handling costs to process hogs. What are we seeing for slaughter numbers and what could we see once PED maybe impacts that towards summer? Well, uh, year to date, we're down 4.2% in the number of hogs uh, that we slaughtered compared to a year ago, and that should probably drop even more this summer. Uh, PED, we think, was the worst during the winter. That should impact summer hog slaughter, so we could see uh, the next several weeks slaughter down uh, uh, 5, 6, 7 percent. Cash hog prices have slipped a bit. Uh, what's the reasoning behind it? Well, uh, extra weights, I think, a big part of it. Uh, like I said, we're down 4.2% in hog slaughter, but only down 1.2% in pork production. Average hog slaughter thus far this year has been 3% heavier than a year ago, so we're making up for some of that shortage in hogs by uh, feeding them bigger. Where's the current break even for the producer? On a live weight basis, somewhere around 56 uh, cents a pound. On a carcass weight, uh, uh, 75 cents a pound, uh, which is uh, both well below the, the market price right now. And the uh, corn prices, within reason, have stayed fairly calm. You know, if, uh, if everything goes well, the eastern half of the Corn Belt's in really good shape for moisture. Where do you think we could see corn prices? Well, Jeff, uh, we're at that time of year when weather's going to drive the, the corn market. The, if we tend to have uh, good growing conditions, we're probably going to see uh, uh, corn move from that $5 give or take down to uh, around $4 at harvest. Uh, on the other hand, if it turns hot and dry on us, it's going to go the other way. Pork import and export numbers came out from the first quarter. What did the data show? Well, uh, better than we'd expected. Uh, pork exports up 10% during the first quarter of this year. And given record high hog prices, that's a pretty good performance. Uh, China and Mexico were the two big drivers of uh, exports. On the import side, we was up a slim 2% compared to a year ago. Ron, I'll ask you a two-part question. First, how expensive is pork in the grocery store? And second, are consumers willing to buy it at that price? <laughs> Very good question. So we're at record levels uh, for pork in grocery stores. Uh, uh, we set uh, the new all-time record in the uh, March data. We don't have the April data out yet, but it's probably going to be a new record. Seasonally, uh, you can expect uh, uh, meat prices for pork uh, to continue to rise till probably August. Uh, so uh, a bargain's going to be a bit uh, uh, tough to find, I'm afraid. Any signs that the economy is still maybe gaining some ground and consumers will have more money in the future? Well, the uh, April jobs numbers were encouraging with the unemployment rate down and uh, uh, the number of non-farm jobs up. That's always good news for meat demand and hopefully we'll, we'll get some better economic uh, performance and uh, continue to have strong meat demand because uh, prices are going to be high.